Hi, welcome to Chemical Technologies YouTube channel. I hope you guys are safe and secure during this pandemic situation. And today we will be seeing about Atom Mini Pro ISO. Atom Mini Pro ISO is the latest installment of Atom Mini series from Blackmagic Design and this is more way a broadcast switcher I can say because it has all the features that a broadcast switcher needs including recording so normally in broadcast scenario they will be having 10 to 12 cameras and they will be recording 3 to 4 cameras as ISO completely they will have the complete feed and in post production if they want to add or remove certain areas it will be helpful for them but this ISO brings right into that much facility inside a single box the main feature of this Atom Mini Pro ISO is the ISO recording which means it records four streams simultaneously and it records all your cut information into the DaVinci Resolve project file where you can open it and all your files and all your cuts are already there you can just want to if you want to manipulate it you can manipulate and the cut page of Resolve makes it way more easier so I'm just going to demonstrate how it is done actually and let's see so first of all I need to connect my hard drive mini pro ISO is pretty much same as Ada Mini Pro. All the features including your hardware panel and the software panel and the connectivity to USB and the Ethernet are same. But the advantage is it is going to record and separate separate stream for all your inputs. So as of now we have three streams over here including my camera. So I'm going to go to my Atom setup where I can find my ISO connected through Ethernet. I'm going to open it and I am already inside it. So now I am going to my output and you can see record stream is available and you have live stream but we don't need live stream right now. We are in record stream and you have an option called ISO record all inputs. Okay, let me name this as YT demo and I am just going to record, hit record and it will record all the four streams separately. I am going to hit record and as you can see I'm going to hit number one number two and number three I'm just switching my cuts you can say hi and that's simple and to an advantage I have added an DSK file I'm going to remove this right now and after some time I'm going to add the DSK file right here and I'm going to media uh, I say I don't like this uh, example graphics so let's say I'm going to put a news bulletin over here. So I have changed to a news bulletin. I'm going to my third input and this is like I'm doing a small news. So all this cut information are stored inside a single SSD that which is already recording and you can see the record information over here and as well as here and you can see how much time you can left for recording for all the four streams including the audio. Let's stop the recording. And we have stopped and in the switcher also you can see it has stopped and everything is done so I'm going to just plug this out and I'm going to plug it into my computer just like that and for your viewing purpose I'm just going to change my multi view to my my first input which is where we are going to use our resolve and that is an aux output which is similar to our Atom mini pro and our SSD is here and you can see the file structure here and we have mentioned this YT demo and I'm opening this YT demo and we have our audio source file which has all the six sources which is four camera sources and we have mic 1 and mic 2 and we also have the video ISO files where it is camera 1 is completely recorded camera 2 is completely recorded and camera 3 is completely recorded so I'm just going to play this back and our fourth camera is also recorded even though we haven't connected any stuff and we have a DaVinci Resolve project file over here so I'm going to open Resolve now so I have opened Resolve and I'm just going to import project and in SSD I am going to come to my YT demo which we recorded right now and I'm going to click YT demo DRP and open it so it will automatically contain all my informations let's say YT demo and we have all the informations in the cut page as you can see I have my 
lower thirds including my lower thirds over here and i have all the cut informations whatever i have done as a cut it has been mentioned and it is automatically there you don't need to uh, re-edit here and the best best point is if you want if you want to extend this edit you can just simply extend this edit or if you want to trim this edit you can trim this edit just like that without any kind of interruption and if you switch over to sync bin you will be having all the sources and when you move through your sync bin over here and you move through your timeline as well so let's say in this uh, particular area or let's say around i need to put my face i can just hit like this and i can just source overwrite and i'll be just overriding to my final output just like that very simple and we also changed our lower third and that is also completely updated in our cut page and these are very smooth and all these formats are recorded in h.264 it's quite simple and easy we had our we had our normal basketball lower third and in meanwhile i changed it to my normal news reading and it also updates in our iso recording that's quite simple and amazing to do a proper post production and if you want to update certain things you can just like that uh, update in your post production and you can do enhancing if you are using a pocket cinema camera you can directly jump into your master file and if you have blackmagic raw you can just drop your blackmagic raw files over here and you can even upgrade your hd workflow into ultra hd raw so that's amazing isn't it so that's the power of adam mini pro iso with the blackmagic pocket cinema camera you can switch in hd and stream it in hd but in post production if you want to upgrade it into ultra hd a proper ultra hd not an upscaling one or camera raw file synced in with all your edits and stuff that you do in live scenario and you can do it in post production as well so that's pretty amazing so that is all about Ada mini pro iso and what it is actually built for so see you in another video stay tuned